Hey everybody, Becky from Week 99 are here. So we're getting a lot closer to the holidays. We've passed Halloween and Thanksgiving's only a few weeks away. So you're probably already planning your holiday parties or if you're not, you might want to start looking into that. So we're going to be talking about a game and this came in the mail from me or to me. Um, I believe it was shipped by um, Cards Against Humanity, which the box that shocked me because I wouldn't expect something like that being shipped to me unless a friend's sending me something. But this is the White Elephant Party Game. And it's the party kit. It has three different ways to play White Elephant. So our family has been, uh, we switched to getting everybody gifts um, a couple years ago, a few years ago, and switched to the White Elephant Game. And I've done this at work parties and a bunch of other things. And it has different names in different areas. So this game is one of three different versions that they have out there. And what it does is it allows you to play the White Elephant game or Sneaky Santa or I forget what the other names are. But they allow you to play this game and always have the same rules because as you know, your rules tend to morph when you're playing with family every year. That was a screwdriver. Sorry, that was from uh, putting something together earlier. So. I'm going to open this up and we're going to check out what's inside this game. It's a holiday classic game, everything you need to organize everyone's favorite gift exchange. So the gift exchange at our family, um, our my mom draws the names for the kids and she used to do it for everybody. And for the extended family, that's a lot of people. But my great aunt is the one that this is going to go to because she's the one who hosts the party every year and she's the one who puts on the white elephant game. Now, there's three different ways in here. There's numbered ornaments. Ooh, and there's mystery gifts. So let's check out these different ways. You can, where is classic play? You set all the wrap gifts under the tree, you count the number of presents and the numbers that go with them. Oh, look at this, you guys. Okay, so I love this. We actually have stolen stickers. So if somebody's questioning if this gift has been stolen or not, um, you can do that and you can put these little stickers right on it. This is fun. We have numbered ornaments if you want to do numbers. We have dice. Uh, we have these game changers. So number one is the way that most of us know how to play. That you all have presents out, you all get a number, and everybody picks a gift, and then you go one through the end, and then the first person gets to choose the last one, and then everybody opens it up. The game changer cards add a few superpowers to regular gift exchange. There are nine cards that have different powers. The rest are regular play cards. So there's an Insta Freeze, which allows the players to instantly freeze any gift, regardless of the number of steals. And this can be undone by an unfreeze card. And there's a Perma Freeze. It cannot be undone. There's back-to-back -back steals times two, which allows players to steal back-to-back -back gifts. Um, that was stolen immediately from him or her. And an inspection that allows the player to touch, weigh, shake, and handle all and any gifts before choosing. So you can also swap numbers. So that's kind of a fun twist. And then there's blitz in using the dice um, that everyone pass to the left and everyone can unwrap a gift, trade gifts, trade gifts with anyone, unwrap a gift, and everyone passes to the right. So there's even a little history of the white elephant gift down here. And it has all the pieces in this box. So you can play whatever version that your family wants to. And then we have this too. So you can actually put your numbered ornaments on your own Christmas tree. And you can pick and choose ones on here. So I'm thinking, oh, and there's even a version if your eggnog doesn't have enough kick. I'm thinking that at Thanksgiving, I will be giving this to my great aunt. If I can close this board game up again. Um, so she can choose which way that our family is going to play this this year. So we always have a lot of fun with this. We do this and the uh, saran wrap ball game. Um, my sister usually makes those and it's filled with anything from junk from the dollar store to random bits. And at the very center, which my cousin always gets, it seems to be a gift card. Um, so it's really kind of fun, fun ways. It's a lot easier getting, just picking one 
or two kind of random weird things and taking them to a party then trying to find a gift for even though they're family people you may not know as well because they live on the other side of the state or you haven't seen them in a few years so this is a fun way to start planning your holidays so as always there's going to be a link for this below i'll make sure that you guys get that um we are you guys we're under 60 days to christmas um probably closer to 50 something i'm not even quite sure at this point but i will make sure that you guys have all of this information if you are planning your party or you want to have something new this year so that's it for today you guys make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow bye